G'day guys. I recently added a Tramp HV telemetry to my quad for some testing for a beta flight and I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to, to add this. Uh, it's, it's well explained in, in the wiki but I just wanted to add a video. So uh, basically we plug our harness in and in the box you would have got one of these uh, harnesses with a little white wire and another wire for audio. Now the white wire goes for t to a T here and that's uh, T4 telemetry. So this wire will go to any free transmit pin on a free UART on your flight controller. So I've chosen uh, UART3. So I'll simply go into Beta Flight Configurator, uh, go to the Peripherals tab in a uh, or drop down in the Ports tab, and choose Tramp H uh, Tramp Smart Audio. No, <laughs> not Tramp Smart Audio. Jesus, getting them mixed up. Um, so in the drop drop down box, you'll have uh, Smart Audio TBS and um, Tramp. Uh, God, I can't remember what the name of it is. Um, but you'll have the um, the option for for the Tramp telemetry. So literally adding your TX wire and choose that on a board that supports uh, OSD of course at the moment and hopefully stick commands will uh, come later and that's it, you're done. Add an antenna and you're ready to use it. So there's already a few videos out there. I'm a day late to the party on this video but uh, I'll uh, post this up anyway and I'll show you, show you through the menu. Okay, so we'll plug in. Telemetry recovered. So the throttle mid, your left, hit shut. Our SSI critical. Telemetry lost. And, uh, telemetry recovered. God, shut up. <laughs> so down to features and VTX tramp. Now uh, we've got option for pit, so we can turn that on. Ooh, and uh, back off, yay. So that works immediately. Good to know. So channel three, we've got it set up for. Let's go to channel four and uh, 100 milliwatts, I guess. So we'll set that. Confirm. Yes. So we're on channel four now. Um, I won't bother changing. Oh, actually, no. We'll change the channel on the on the DVR. Telemetry um, lost. Telemetry recovered. Shut up, you annoying mole. Far out. Okay, so channel four, and yay, we've got video, proper video back again. So that's all working. Telemetry lost. God, I'm going to strangle her. <laughs> um, 25, and back to channel three, which is my normal channel. Set, confirm, yes. Awesome. Oh, this is sweet. This is just too cool. How many button presses? There we go. Back to channel three. Oh wow, okay, yep. So that's really convenient. Telemetry Hopefully, no, recovered. okay, she's gonna, she's getting the chop tonight. Bye bye. Um, yeah, so hopefully that was useful. Um, it's definitely gonna be handy coming, coming into race season and stuff and changing channels and whatnot. Um, well, I'm plugged now, I, I guess we don't, <coughs> we don't need to keep that going now. Well, that's very interesting. Uh, hopefully, stick commands come in in the future. That'll make it really easy as well. So you don't, you, even if you haven't got an OSD on your flight controller, you'll be able to just memorize the stick commands to change channels and bands and uh, and away you go. So yeah, trend. That's uh, that's pretty cool. I hope a lot more transmitters come out with this sort of s smart audio and um, one wire telemetry stuff because it's uh, definitely really handy now. The Tramp has got a completely different uh, protocol. It's not smart audio. It, it's something a little bit different, um, a little more, a bit more simplistic in the protocol, but definitely very effective and, and does everything that uh, that smart audio does really. So um, yeah, that's really cool. I'll leave you with that. See you on the next one.